Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm testing out yet another indie makeup brand. This time we're going to the UK and we're trying Certify UK. And the palette which I ordered and used today is the Dynasty palette. This is what is on my eyes today and this is how the palette looks like inside. And if you're curious to see how the eyeshadows performed, how they blended, you know, my first impressions and all of that just just keep watching. Oh yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this a few times per week. Anyway, let's see what the palette has to offer. Now, first and foremost, I bought this palette for £10 because it was on sale and the palette retails for its normal price, which is £30. Now, my expectations will be quite high with this palette. I mean, £30 is €35 Euro for me. It doesn't come with a mirror. Other than that, the color story is the thing which I was most attracted from because you can see that I mean you can do hundreds of not hundreds but plenty of looks with this palette they start from green I mean you can do just green blue purple this is more like a fuchsia color kind of it's it's pulling quite pink and then you have this corally shade here this shimmery shade here is quite orange in real life then you can go completely neutral with the top row. Now, I was really attracted from the Affinity 2 palette on their website as well. But then I changed my mind and I decided that this is a bit more versatile. Uh, and I might be able to do more looks. I mean, more like neutral looks because the other one was a bit more green and blue. While here the options are a bit more, in my opinion, only. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go for something blue, purple today. Just for the sake of trying out the difficult colors. Uh, for the companies to make. I'm gonna start off with this grand shade here, this one in the crease and see um, what happens next. I will actually zoom you in. By the way, I've primed my lids with a concealer today, the Born to Glow concealer from NYX. Um, and I did the rest of my face so you don't sit here waiting for me. And... Okay, straight off the bat I'm telling you that this is really, really pigmented and it blends out so far easy on my eyes considering my scars and all the texture here but that blends out really easy and I might have been better using a smaller brush now if I was using a lighter color primer or something like uh, the white base primers something uh, something like this that would I mean the color would pop out even more I guess I think I want to try this Emperor shade this one it's a bit darker. I know it looks light in the pan. So I want to try this just lower in my crease and then, you know, move on to the purple itself and see. Okay, this uh, Emperor shade blends in the other blue really easy and without any patchiness or something. And I don't have any fallout, by the way. I'm going to go back to Grunt. By the way, this is the name of the previous shade I used. Just on top here. Just for the tiniest bit more like uh, to blend the edges. Next I want to try this uh, Empress shade, this purpley shade. Again, uh, around the same place and a little bit lower on the lid in the outer corner and see what goes next. Because I'm just improvising right now, I'm just trying as many colors as possible from the blue purple range. And I want to try one of the shimmers, maybe two. We'll see, uh, but first... They definitely, definitely just blend into each other really easy. Okay, this color combo looks awesome to me. It's one of my favorites, like a, a light blue to a dark blue and then dark purple. Blue and purple. Um, I mean, this is one of my favorite eyeshadow combinations anyway, when it comes to a bit more like um, a dark or nighttime look. Moving on to the shimmery shades, I think I'm gonna start off with Wealth, uh, which is the purpley uh, shimmery shade here, and then maybe use this opal shade, which is a bit more like, a, it's a bit, it's actually blue, something in between silver and blue, or at least it looks like in the pan. Uh, and uh, see what I'm gonna use and maybe I'm gonna use gem in the inner corner as a highlight and I think I'm gonna do the same on the lower lid I mean using Empress and Emperor the blue and the, the, the dark blue and the dark purple but I'm gonna start off with wealth and I'm not spraying the brush just to see what I'm gonna get without 
without spraying the brush okay not much okay i'm gonna spray it and see if that gets better because it doesn't it's not this uh, wow effect on your eye but if you want something subtle just just go for it without spraying the brush yeah that's much better you can probably see that now and i want to keep these shimmery shades just lower here Now even when I spray the brush, this doesn't give me this like a uh, metallic uh, finish on the on the eye, if that makes sense, which I appreciate many times because I have small wrinkles on my eyelids, I have texture on my eyelids, as I said before. And sometimes when you're using this kind of pressed pigments, metallic shades, you know the the one which they are the ones which they are like boom in your face, they can accentuate that texture, which I'm not really keen on. So I'm just going to clean off my brush and I'm going to move into Opal. I'm going to spray it again and see what that will give me here. Especially the more I'm going in my inner corners, the more texture I have and small wrinkles. Other than that, this looks beautiful. Again, it's not this boom shade in your um, face. If that makes sense. Yeah, I definitely like that a lot. And then I'm gonna go into the... I can't decide if I should... No, I'm gonna go into Gem. This just the champagne gold shade uh, in the inner corner. As I said before, like a bit of highlight. And it's nice. I didn't spray the brush. I'm just using a pencil brush and I'm gonna take some of the impress, the darkest purple and I'm just gonna place it here. Taking some of the Emperor shade just to meet them up here. And smoke out the purple a bit more. Okay, I'm gonna do some lashes. I'm not sure about liner. Uh, something in the waterline and I'm coming back to you uh, just in a second. Okay guys, so this is the finished uh, makeup look. I applied some of the We Makeup Blue Pencil and some lashes. I applied the tiniest, tiniest uh, amount of eyeliner just to define my lashes. I didn't want any wing or anything because I like rounded looks every uh, once in a while. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is what I got with the palette. I like the look a lot, especially this color combo. Again, for me, the thing is that it's really hard to find exactly this purples and exactly this uh, blues in one palette uh, together so if you're someone like me and you like this cool tone purple and blue you will definitely definitely enjoy the palette now i don't know if all of the shades will perform the same way obviously i need to try the palette more that's why i'll give you uh, like a detailed review a month later uh, or somewhere there when i when i use it more but other than that is really versatile palette so so far, if everything works out the way these shades did, uh, it's definitely worth the price just because of the amount of looks which you can make with this palette. So I hope that was helpful and interesting if you are curious about these palettes. Of course, let me know down in the comments, have you tried something from Certified? Have you tried this palette or any other ones? They had some lip products and I wanted to order something and I forgot. It was a liquid lipstick. I. I think next time when I order something from them, I might try them and I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now.